Tēnā koutou. I'm Renee Matapārai, the Network and Operations Director here at Spark. You would have seen that recently a number of mobile network operators both in New Zealand and internationally have announced the upcoming closure of their legacy 3G networks. We've announced that Spark will work to close down its legacy 3G network towards the end of 2025. So since the introduction of 3G to Aotearoa in 2009, mobile technologies have continued to advance with the introduction of things like 4G and 5G networks, as well as specific network technologies for the Internet of Things. These bring improvements in speed and latency and power consumption. So the 3G closure will enable us to free up limited radio spectrum so that we can re-farm and reuse that spectrum for 5G. This will provide more coverage across wider areas of Aotearoa, bringing 5G to more locations. So today 3G data use represents just under 4% of our total network data traffic. And we're doing work to optimise this even further so that our customers' reliance on 3G reduces even more. And we expect that the vast majority of Spark Mobile customers won't notice any difference. Spark's 4G network already covers 98% of New Zealanders today. And we'll be making further improvements so that we can further enhance both our 4G and 5G networks ahead of the 3G closure. For example, We'll be using a range of optimization techniques so that we can enhance coverage in areas where customers only get 3G coverage today. So at Spark, we're working towards a more connected future. Leveraging the new capabilities of 5G, things like network slicing and ultra low latency, brought together with new technologies like automation, machine learning, and the convergence of those technologies to help bring innovative solutions to Aotearoa, to help businesses become more productive, more sustainable. So our teams will be working alongside our customers to discuss their connectivity options ahead of the 3G network closure. And we think this is a great opportunity to work alongside our customers to future-proof their technologies to make sure they get the best benefit out of these new network capabilities. To help you transition through this change, we've put some useful information on our website. So here you'll find some FAQs around what the shutdown means, also some tools that can help you on your journey. And for our Internet of Things customers, you'll find links to further technical information. Ngā mihi nui.